Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a quick one for you. Um, I was just playing, sitting, chilling, crafting, and I was trying to think of ways that I can use stuff at home to make really cool ephemera because I'm not gonna lie, my thrift shops and charity shops and secondhand shops are not that good for documents for old vintage ephemera. They're really not. So I thought, I'm going to try and make some of my own. So as I was walking through the kitchen, I thought, <gasps> kitchen roll. Okay, let's see what we can do. So I did this. And I have to say, I really do. I love them. They're small, they're very vintage, they look very old. And I'm gonna just quickly show you how I made them. So that was from the, it was the field label from the field notes set. And what I did is I made this little tag and it's got a little pocket here. And then I folded over the, it's a two folded tag. So I made quite a few of these out of the file folders because I had some strips left over and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make some folded tags out of them. So that's what I did. So I made this and all I did was I folded back one part of it and then I glued down the sides so that you have the pocket in there and then I glued down these two sides so that I had a pocket in there and I put some of my labels in. There's the old piece of field notes on the tissue and I love it I think that's really cool really cool you could just stick it slide it in a pocket in your journal and I use my little my new little punch star punch on the corner because I thought that looked quite cool and I love it so I'm going to show you let's put this in there and let's put this in there, those in there. Right, so get yourself a sheet of kitchen roll. Fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. And I'm going to do the field label. Turn it over. Wet the tissue and then push the tissue into the stamp. And there you have a little embossed field label. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do another one. You could dry it with your heat gun, but I find when you dry it with your heat gun, it tends to blow the kitchen roll or the toilet tissue whatever you're going to use um and it takes the embossed effect out of it um so yeah you'd be you're better off dry letting it dry naturally so again just dampen and then push the stamp you can do it either way, but this way you're pushing more into the grooves. Or you could push down. With your block. And there you have another 
field label. So I'm going to try it with, um, I'm going to try it with the specimen. I don't know if this one will work because, oh, it might do because it's a little bit small. Ah, yes, you can't really tell, but you can tell it's a specimen. And when that dries, it's going to look awesome. I'm going to sieve through and see what else I've got. Right, so I'm just putting them aside. I'm going to let them dry. And I have got out some others. So I've got Moth Study, Mini Glitch, um... Ledger script, etc., flutter, leaf prints, and classics one. Because I thought they would look really cool. The dragonfly, especially. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try the dragonfly, is what I'm going to do, because I think that would look like. A proper blueprint so fold it in half fold it in half again I'm gonna need a bigger block for this one wet the kitchen roll oh missed a bit Push over it. Once you, I don't know if you can you see that. Once you can see the stamp coming through, just like there. Look. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Right, I'm gonna let that one dry. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a leaf. I'm running out of water. All right, let's turn it over. When they're dry, you can ink them. Oh, look. Look at that. Can you, I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. I'm just going to... Oh, I just moved it. That's it. Perfect. Oh, I love that. I love that. Right, I'm going to let that dry as well. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a butterfly. I think I'm going to do this one. Right, let's do it on the other end of the leaf.
Oh, look at the butterfly. I love it. Right, that's it. I'm going to let all them dry. And I'm going to show you how I made... Let's put my water bottle up there. I'm going to show you how I made this little cutie with one of the pieces. And then hopefully by the time I've finished, it will be dry. So first off, I'm going to ink all around the edges. Right, so I've sewn along the bottom. I fixed my sewing machine. <gasps> oh, I feel so proud of myself. And I've stitched all down the sides as well. So that's made that pocket there. I did go a stitch too high, but you know, hey ho. Right, so now this flap I'm gonna glue down. And then I just wanna put a bit of glue over this stitching with a small piece of tape. Just like that. Bit more glue just down the sides and then fold that over and push down and then you have another cool little pocket there and a cool pocket there so let's check and see if our tissue is dry no it's still a little bit wet yeah see that's what it does it just completely shrinks it and it makes it disappear so I'm not going to do that I'm going to get this stamp out again and just Line it up, push it back in. There you go, and the butterfly's back. Right, so I'm gonna let those dry and then I'll be back. Right, so while the others are drying, I'm gonna use one of the ones that I made earlier. Um, and all I did with these was I just pulled them apart so they're like one ply if you like and then i stamped over the top um i didn't use didn't not hard just like sort of gentle it's still embossed um but now it also has the stamp on top which i love so i'm gonna get my glue stick and i'm just gonna lightly apply some glue Ah! No, 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 no. Right, so that's enough. Because I'm nervous. And then just put it on your work. And what I do is I just let it fall as it is, even if it's crumpled, 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 crumpled whatever and then yeah and it kind of let me get my brayer it kind of blends it blends into it can you see that how cool that looks right now 
I'm going to do some stamping. And do, 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 do. where's my new stamps? Right, again, I'm using my the Sam Paul stamps. Um, I'm not going to do the same as this one. I'm going to do different. So let's see what's on here. Um, that one goes there. Get my black soot. My inks are playing up today. All right, there we go. Perfect. Right, so I like this one. So I'm going to put this one up here, I think, or shall I do it on there? I think I'm going to put a butterfly on here. So which one? Um, that one. I do like that one. And I'm going to do it in vintage photo. But I'm not trying to be precise with the ink. Perfect. Let's put that back on there so we don't lose it. Right, so this one, will I put it on there? Nope. So this one, I'm going to do in black. And need to make sure it's the right way up. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I like that. I like that. I'm not bothered that it's a bit old because this is supposed to be vintage anyway. Right, what else? Um, but, 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 the other set, a number, let's put a number, I like this one, perfect. Um, I'm going to put this little one by here cover that accidental hole that I have there and um, what else can we have here Maybe that over the top of the numbers? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 
All right, but what I am going to do is I'm going to use this label stamp. Make sure it's straight. And I'm just going to do, do I want to do one off the side here or do I want to do one? Let's do one off of this side. All right, let's do that again. I think my ink pad is playing up. line that up that's better all right a label off of there and then i think we're gonna have hanging off the side but I also want to put a label that one put that over there nope um no Right, so I'm definitely using that one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And I'm going to have a look. At. If I can find them. My. Let's put this back on here first. My field notes snippets and I'm going to see what we've got in there. Oh. Yes. Where's my. Where's my squishy. All right, just give him. And then pinch and pinch. Glue down the middle. Ah, oh, can't put it there because, but I can put it there. Yes, I can. Love it. Right, what else have we got in this little box of goodies? Right, so we're definitely using that one. 
Mm. Right, I'm going to put everything in this lid. Is that one? Yep. We put a line down there. Yep. I love it when a plan comes together. Right. Come on. There we go. Over there. And then one of my labels. Over the top. I wonder if that will. Nope. I was going to say I should have put it over here. But hey ho. What about. This little one. No, nope. Too many butterflies then. Too many butterflies. I'm going to leave the ephemera for now. And. Oh, I've left those bits out. Let's put those up there. Right, I'm going to do some more stamping. Let's stick into that one. We don't want that, do we? Right. What shall we put on here now? Um, no. Nope. A date, maybe? Paris? That's too long. That doesn't fit there. That does fit there, though. Ooh. All right, I'm going to use this one. on this one no 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 I do want to use my little star Just there, same as the other one. And I want to put something just there. And something there, I need something there. Yep. See, that's annoying me. I wish I hadn't done that. But we live and we learn. I might put 
that over the top. Mm. Uh, I don't know. No, I think I've just ruined it. I'm going to have a look in my new label folder for a label. That was a little bit too big. Don't want another green one. Right, if we put that one there and then find something to cover that little smidge. Nope, that will do, right. So we'll leave the reserved, we'll cover a little bit of it. I should have inked it. Leave the figure too so you can see it. There, that's much better. That's much better. Thank you, labels. Right, now we need some labels to tuck into this pocket. So there's one, two, three, four, Five. I don't know why I'm counting them. I'm just trying to get enough in there so it feels a bit bulky. So they don't all slide out. There, I think that will do. Now, shall I put a bit of string over? Um, I think I might, but I think I'm going to use this that I got from the range. And I think I'm going to use the natural jute. Oh, move all your little bits. I'm going to go round. Background. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then make a little bow. That one's a little bit too big, so let's. And then trim off the end. And there we go. And then I could just quickly tag in there or a tag in there as well. And there's two little tag pockets for your junk journal with some really cool pieces of ephemera that I made from Kitchen Roll. That's still not that dry. So hopefully they'll be dry in the morning and then I will be able to cut them out, ink them and then stash them away. Thank you very much for being here.
I really enjoyed this one, even if I did have a few dilemmas. But, you know, crafting's crafting. Like Bob Ross says, happy accidents. There is happy accidents. That was a big mistake, but that turned into a happy accident. So, brilliant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.